Imagine you have a problem that you need to solve and you're looking for innovative solutions. In this moment, there's a good chance you'll choose one of two cognitive approaches. In 1956, the psychologist J.P. Guilford coined the terms convergent thinking and divergent thinking to describe these two contrasting approaches. Convergent thinking is linear and systematic, while divergent thinking is more web-like, focusing on the connections between ideas. Convergent thinking narrows down multiple ideas into a single solution. On the other hand, divergent thinking expands outward by generating multiple ideas, often thinking like a hacker and using materials in original ways. Here you treat barriers as design opportunities. Convergent thinking tends to be more focused, while divergent thinking is more flexible and iterative. Convergent thinking is analytical and focused on what's best. By contrast, divergent thinking is more open-ended, and participants are encouraged here to take creative risks, even if some of the ideas might not work. Convergent thinking asks why. Divergent thinking asks why not. Now, it may seem like these two approaches are competitive, but they actually go hand in hand. Often teams will use divergent thinking to generate multiple ideas, followed by convergent thinking to analyze and narrow down the ideas. And then later you'll use divergent thinking to come up with fresh perspectives, followed by convergent thinking yet again in this ongoing cycle. Both are necessary.